Previously on Chicken Girls. You knew I was chasing this story, and you swiped it from under me again. Did it ever cross your mind that maybe I just did a better job? Are you gonna invite Drake to the big sweet 16? How am I supposed to tell Ryan, hey, your ex-boyfriend's gonna be at my party? I might be out of town that weekend. Boys, for the most part, kinda suck. Can I get an amen? Amen. amen. Really good job on the article, Ryan. You crushed it. Congratulations. You've earned your stride. We won't have to keep this a secret much longer. It's just kind of a bummer. Warrior Princess O3 is going down. Are you sure you don't want to just, you know, stay in and watch a movie tonight, like old times? Are you having cold feet or something? You invited like half the school and we can do that when my mom leaves for Texas. Yeah, yeah, it's silly. Remember, you only turned 16 once, you know? Yeah, I guess you're right. Like everyone keeps telling me, cheer up. <laughs> Do I look okay? Rooney, you look gorgeous. You know that. Thank you. Of course. Here goes nothing. Oh my god, this is better than I even imagined. Well, I got some help from Effie, who is the youngest event planner in the state. So. I know, I'm amazing. You're welcome. Really, you came! Of course I did. You only turned 16 once. Heads up. Oh, oh these are so cute. <laughs> I'm definitely putting this on. Hey, none of that. We're here to party. Bless that music! <laughs> Something up? I'm fine. Clearly you aren't. Ryan, what's going on? I just don't get why you would lie to me. What? And to top it all off, I'm pretty sure that Flash is cheating on Kayla. What? Yeah, with her dad being sick, this is the last thing that she needs to be dealing with. We need to tell her. She's been with him way too long. Funny coming from you. What's that supposed to mean? Strong, single, independent Ellie. I saw you and Robbie kissing the other day. It's... It's not what it looks like. Why do you keep lying? I guess I was just embarrassed. I made such a big deal about it. Exactly, so don't go judging Kayla for being with Flash. I don't get why you're so pissed. You know, maybe you're just mad about Ezra or Drake or something. This is just like old times. Yeah. And new times. Yeah, Birdie totally pulled through with the venue. Yeah, how did you get the hookup here? This used to be my regular jam, remember? <laughs> you two are amazing. What was that all about? She saw us kissing the other day, and now she's furious at me. Okay, I hate to say I told you so, but- So don't. I'm so mad. Wait, I, I thought she was mad at you. Well, now we're mad at each other. Who is Warrior Princess 03? What? You heard me? Uh, she's just some girl I met playing short night, um, and she's nationally ranked. Then why is she sending you heart emojis? I don't know. What's going on over here with you two? 
Kayla, I started playing short night because Flash started paying more attention to that than you, and I wanted to know why. And? How about you ask him who Warrior Princess 03 is? Flash, what's going on? She's not even friends with him. Did they just hug? Who is Warrior Princess 03? That's me. Do you guys play Short Night? Pure Warrior Princess 03. I'm gone in a flash 239. Wow, you, you are not at all like I pictured you. Um, hi, I'm Kayla, his girlfriend. <laughs> what is she talking about? What is going on? Kayla, listen, the whole long distance. Oh, you think you're breaking up with me? Nuh-uh, this is not how it's gonna work. So you've been talking to that girl online or something? I mean... I think it's safe to say that this is over. And for the record, I'm breaking up with you. And not that you asked, but my dad's not doing so well, so I'm still gonna be in Crown Lake for a while. Goodbye. Yeah, but, um... Don't worry about it. Let's just dance and have fun. I just don't want there to be any drama. Well, me and Flash are officially done. What? Why? Oh, and apparently Ellie and Robbie have been secretly dating. What? Why wouldn't she tell us? After she pretended to be all independent and single this whole time. Ugh, I hate lives. Come on, girl, dance it out. I can't believe I broke up with Flash. Happy birthday, Bernie. So we didn't know what to get you, but we do know how much we all love you. And to prove it to you, we made you a little video. Happy birthday, Rooney. Not only are you an amazing photographer, but also an amazing human. Can't wait to make my memories with you and hope you have a wonderful sweet 16. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Rooney. I love you so much, and thanks for being such a great friend, and keep taking pictures, because you're amazing. Wait! Hold <laughs> up! <laughs> Happy birthday, Rooney! <laughs> thanks for being such an amazing friend to me, and such an amazing older stepsister. We love you so much. You're a talented and so many ways. You always give the best advice or care for true. everyone, and you are so kind to all of your friends. Love you so love much. You. <laughs> hey, Rooney. So this is about a sound. Hold on, I don't want to block the mic. <laughs> <laughs> this is about a sound super mushy. So consider yourself warned. You are the best best friend I could ever have. A lot went down last semester, and through it all, no matter what, you kept trying. You didn't give up on me. And I don't know many people who would do that for someone. Thank you for everything, Rudy. I love you. And I hope you have the best sweet 16 ever. You deserve the world. Sorry, I, I knew I shouldn't have come. I just wanted to see how you're doing. You couldn't pick up your phone and call me? This whole time, I didn't even get a text from you. And now you just show up? And now you just show up? Where were you? I was in a coma. 
And then I was in the hospital for six weeks. And you weren't there for any of it. Brie, stop. They didn't even know if I was going to wake up. I'm sorry. I, I wanted to be there. I, just, I was with you on the way to the hospital, but I, I couldn't stay. I, Tell me why you disappeared. I guess I was just scared they were going to arrest me or something. I wanted to be there, Bertie. But your parents and Principal Mathers and it's, everybody always blames me. <laughs> Except me. I kept standing by you. I know. I'm sorry. Truth is, I'm just not good for you, Bertie. You're sorry? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry I ever met you. Brady just disappeared again. Well, she probably just had to head home early. Can I show you something that might help take your mind off it? There's something there I can't seem to put those ears in the dirt. Are these my photos? <laughs> yeah, I know. You've always wanted a gallery, so I thought I'd make you one. <laughs> well, I would go back and set it straight if I ever went away. You did this? So I say is, is that okay? Start, you it's more than okay. Back the it's amazing. Take me or drive away to the unfamiliar places to get lost in the waiting. Counting taps along. What's going on? Are you okay? Like you'd care. You know what? Don't let me ruin your fun. Go and dance or whatever. I kind of only came just to see you. Here I am. What happened? I just saw Rooney kissing my ex-boyfriend. That's Drake, right? Yes. And I know I can't really be that upset because I'm the one who broke up with him and I don't have a claim on him, but she didn't even tell me that she liked him. That's so not cool. She should have talked to you about it first. Do you agree with me? Yeah, I do. Well, this must be the first time that we've agreed since spring break. Yeah, well, I've actually been wanting to explain to you why I wrote that article about HOMAC. Honestly, can we just drop it? No, no. my mum left when I was four. So I never really had a mum. My dad raised me, but he used to work all the time. I, I just really wished I had someone to make me lunch, make me dinner and bring me to school. I just never had any of that. I'm really sorry. No, it's okay. I, I just wanted to let you know because I realized what that article made me seem and I'm not a bad guy. And I'm sorry. I, it's just... Never mind. No, hey, what is it? It's just been really hard ever since my dad got remarried. Having to cope with my stepmom, I, I guess I just try to keep it cool with you. I don't know. I've never really said that to anyone about my family stuff. It's okay. I understand. Next time on Chicken Girls. Why would you want to help me? 
I got my second chance and you deserve one too. Romeo and Juliet, two star-crossed lovers fall madly in love and then they die. I think you're glossing over a lot of this story. Seems like other people may have forgotten it. I don't know what to do. You're always worrying about everyone else, but maybe it's time you worry about yourself a little more.